Hello and welcome to Small Cap Nation. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ Market Site in Times Square. And with me today, Tom Hallam, the CEO of Leading Biosciences. Welcome, Tom. Welcome. Thank okay, you. so let's start with just telling me about the company. What is it you do? And how long have you been around? Just give me a history. Sure. Um, we've been about, around about 12 years. Okay. Um, the company was founded out of this really fascinating science that was discovered at the University of California, San Diego. Founded out of this idea that um, our bodies sometimes leak digestive enzymes into our bloodstream. And that, that when that happens, it can cause bad things throughout the body, like illnesses, either chronic illnesses that are slowly developing, or even acute illnesses that can be a crisis for a patient. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is when we hear about, like, gut. Yeah. This is what you're talking about, right? I mean, that's kind of the common terminology for what's going on in our bodies. Yeah, yeah. Um, in fact, you know, there's a there's a wave of uh, novel discoveries that have really happened over the last 10 to 20 years that is now starting to be commercialized, and we're kind of on that leading wave, if you will, of the the massive developments and discoveries that are happening and new products that are coming to market for both the gut and the microbiome. Yeah, I mean there's all kinds of studies I read about all the time that shows this is linked to that and yeah. so it's really interesting, a, a big advancement yeah. in medicine that we've seen over the past few years. So tell us about your product. You've got a product, mm -hmm. LB1148. Yes. Uh, what is its mechanism of action? How does that work and what does it do? Sure. So the our lead drug is basically it stops digestion cold. It's there. All of us have digestive enzymes in our bodies, but there are times when those enzymes turn on the body. And what we've discovered is we've got a drug that stops all of our digestion and prevents it from digesting tissues in the body. And this is really important, right? If you're a patient, there are times uh, when the mucosal barrier, that's this very thin barrier that separates the digestive enzymes in the gut from the body's tissues and the circulatory system. And when that barrier breaks down and those enzymes enter the body, they can cause damage to the organs and cells of the body. Um, for example, our lead drug is currently in development for three different indications, uh, particular for gastrointestinal surgery, okay. cardiovascular surgery, and crit critical illness like shock. Now, are these the three legs of the stool that you referred to? Is, is how, th what this drug works on? Right, so the, the drug really, from a mechanism of action perspective, it really does a couple things. It, um, first, it helps di block the digestive enzymes and prevent those enzymes from doing damage to the body. And um, the second thing it does is it kind of reseals the, body, the barrier and helps the drug transport down throughout the entire GI tract. And it also provides energy to the GI tract to help recreate and reheal the barrier once it's broken down. Okay, so now we have an idea of what the drug does. Yeah. What about clinical trials? Where are you in that process? Great question. Um, we are at a critical junction in our clinical development process. In particular, where we're at is we have two different ongoing clinical trials with a third coming on board as well. And this is really the year for leading biosciences where we're going to have large proof of concept data that will hopefully prove out our mechanism of action, our lead drug is efficacious and safe in patients. Okay, so Tom, tell me about the patent portfolio. One of the great things about our, our lead drug is that we have a very strong patent portfolio. That from an intellectual property perspective, it's very well protected. There's a, a series of patents that are a fortress, if we will, the concentric circles of stronger and stronger patent protection that include not only a composition of matter patent on our lead drug, but also the methods of use of patents. In fact, when it comes to administering uh, a drug to inhibit digestive enzymes orally, we own that route of administration. Okay, and the patient journey on this, yeah. how does that start? Someone from from someone feels not quite right, and then what happens? Well, let me give you an, an example of how one of the best ways to use our lead drug, LB1148. Um, <clears throat> we have, think about a, a, you know, Mrs. Smith. Mrs. Smith is a 60-year-old woman, and a routine colonoscopy, they find a cyst in, in her colon, right? And, they, and when the surgeon goes to remove that, there's this moment in time where the scalpel enters the GI tract, and those digestive enzymes that are in her, her her GI tract spill in the abdominal cavity. And those enzymes can do lots of damage to the local tissues and, um, and disrupt the motility of her GI tract, importantly. And, and that's basically the ability for the GI tract to continue to move and you know, have a bowel movement, right? In today's medical system, one of the most important things is for a patient to be able to have a bowel movement before they're discharged from the hospital. Otherwise, it could very rapidly turn into a medical emergency. So, one of the things that we think our lead drug is going to do is it will reduce the damage those digestive enzymes do to the bowel 
and by reducing that damage, um, the patient will return their bowel function faster and they'll get out of the hospital much faster. So I mean, the, it really has a great improvement for the patient in reducing their inflammation in their body, um, in reducing the damage associated with surgery, and um, it, it's beneficial for the hospital as well because it's going to help the patient get out of the hospital and help the patient return home to their family sooner. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. And you've got quite an impressive team. They're managing these clinical, clinical trials. That's going to be, of course, I mean, crucial for the company. Yeah. I mean, that's really, you know, what the company's all about, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we've got uh, a great team. Um, you know, myself, I've been around, uh, been a part of over 27 different clinical trials, 25 of which have been positive, okay. pop, hit their primary endpoints. Mm -hmm. So we have a very experienced, very um, uh, senior team that's able to deliver and uh, hopefully mm -hmm. prove our efficacy mm -hmm. of our lead drug. And you've got a team of CFOs and also scientists, and you got the business side and the science side. Yeah, that's exactly right. Of. We've got a great administrative team. Um, our our, in particular, our chief, science, our chief financial officer is uh, very experienced at raising capital in this space and running all the internal operations of a, of a company like this. Okay, all right. Yeah. Thank you so much, Tom, for joining us today, sharing the story of leading biosciences. Best of luck to you. Yeah. I know a lot of people would like to see some solutions in this area. So best of luck to you and, and uh, your company. Hey, so thank you so, thank much, you so much, Tom. And thank you as well for joining us on Small Cap Nation. For more interesting stories about interesting companies, you can go to smallcapnation.com. Have a great day.